So I received a message of someone on Xbox who revealed to me something shocking. Hacked weapons are now on console, but it gets worse people. Today we check out what's going on. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So we know certain players on PC love to edit those files and make things unique. It's out and out PC for you, but it does now seem that these kinds of things are now available on Xbox. Now before I show you what I've seen and been sent, let me first state, I don't use these, I won't ever use these, and I don't recommend anyone else using these. Okay, so I received a message from a fellow gamer stating, he was contacted by somebody he was playing with, stating he can get him weapons which basically one shot enemies. It doesn't matter what platform he plays on, he can get him these kinds of weapons. The catch was, there was a charge. You pay and you get, simple. This dude obviously took a chance and what he got will blow you away. He got items which indeed one shot everything, with firepower levels beyond anything this game is legitly capable of, as you can see on screen now. These weapons are also at a level 1, so they can be used on any new made character. Now I myself, it makes me kinda sick to my stomach when I see people charging others for carries in expeditions. That's a big no-no from me, and if you guys need a carry, need help with anything within this game, don't pay for anything, join my discord which is linked below. Someone there will indeed help you out for sure if they're online. Now these modded weapons for me take away from what this game is and should be. Yeah, I know for sure someone will pop up down below saying, well DPJ you covered many modded weapons in Borderlands, which is indeed true. But the modded weapons I covered mostly were uniquely made and were not about one shotting enemies. And to be honest, there are legit builds I've made where you could use any weapon to one shot an enemy. So it's a little different over there. Plus Borderlands has a massive modding community where people create some incredible weapons. Evil X Drugs being one of them. It's entirely different here with Outriders as the only purpose of this game at Endgame is to build up that power to complete expeditions. This does nothing but take all of that away and make it, well, just a walk in the park. Now I ain't going to sit here and tell you that you are a criminal if you use these. To be honest, I don't care what you do. You pay for the game, you play it how you please. But what I do know is, these are not legit weapons. These are not legit methods. And I do believe they will result in you getting that watermark. Even though I'm still yet to see anyone with a watermark, I do think this may indeed get you one. But yeah guys, this video is more of a heads up. For those of you who play crossplay with PC players, or you have your lobbies open and PC players can join, or you join random lobbies and have crossplay open, you never know who you're joining, especially if they're random players. And if you join somebody who's modding their game and you get modded loot drop for you, what would the effect be? Now another thing he had happen was, he got enough class points to fill all three skill trees. I mean, is this even needed? I guess not, but it's a thing. I do hope people can fly come down on this. I do feel as though this is getting more and more popular. It may just happen, because the more popular this gets, the worse the game gets. And let's not lie to ourselves here, the game is on its last legs. This ain't helping. So hopefully people can fly can take some kind of action against these things, or put in some kind of system that if crossplay is enabled, that PC hackers can't adjust loot for the entire lobby. It's a crazy one, but over the past week I have seen more and more about these kinds of things and these mods in the game. A lot of people in the Facebook groups I am in are posting 6, 7, 8, 900 million expedition runs in terms of damage, and people are already asking questions there. And well, guys, this is probably 99% of the times the answer. So yeah, just a heads up that hacked items and classes are now on console, and it seems as though they're getting popular by the day. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.